You were on the Apollo 12 mission in 1969. You were the fourth man to walk on the surface of the moon. Four of uh, 12, right? So far, there's only been 12 people to walk on the moon? That's it. Four of 12. Uh, There's probably about seven of us still alive. We're getting older. I'm 84. Glad to see that the space program is picking up a bit now, and we're doing some pretty good things in, with private industry. When I went to the moon, 19, that's a long time ago. That's a different generation. These new, the new generation here is going to have to do some some amazing things. We had a pretty cool mission because you guys had to land at an exact location because you had to recover some pieces of a probe, right? After Apollo 11, the first landing there, we just, the best we could do was just make a landing and get back home. We all watched it. If we are old enough, we watched it. Uh, many of your listener, uh, listeners probably you know, weren't even around then, but they've seen it on uh, videos or the like. Then they said to us, look, on future missions, the geologists want us to go to, you know, big crevasses in the moon or near the mountains. We're going to have to be pretty accurate landing. The Apollo 11 landed within four miles of where we wanted them to land. We've got to do better. We want you to land in a spot where this surveyor was, not necessarily to get the parts off it, but as long as you're there, why don't you do it? But to find a way, demonstrate, work with Mission Control, work with Grumman, work with MIT to figure out how to land more accurately. And so that's what we did. I'll tell you one thing I learned at NASA. People and groups of people are a lot better than we than you think, or I would think. I remember when we will, they told us we were going to do this. I said, we can't do that. We did the best we could do a month or two ago. Suddenly we're going to do better. But our leader said, you'll do better. You all start working, doing better on this. And lo and behold, after four months, we did do better. I can imagine using tools and trying to unscrew things on the moon is probably not the easiest task, is it? No, it's not. (laughs) And so we had to practice. And then some of the things, for example, the hammer that I used to pound the flagstaff in the moon, you know, I came back, I said, look, this hammer's not heavy enough. It works great on Earth where there's gravity. Heaviness of my arm helps, but you get on the moon, that light gravity, you need a bigger hammer. So we built a bigger hammer. So we were learning each time we went, you know, how to do things better. We got very dusty up there. We had a difficult time zipping up our suits because this dust was in our zipper. Oh, no. So we came home and said, look, the next crew is going to be out longer. We're going to have to come up with a way to clean those zippers or do. And so we did. So, you know, and uh, by the way, if you want to get better at doing those things you're talking about, all you've got to do is think about it a bit and practice. And pretty soon you can be one of the best at it.